So this is the uh, Cube 360 360 camera. Shut up, you dickheads. So um, had it for just over a day now. Got it Friday. Been doing a little bit of playing around with it. Initial thoughts are that you know I bought it based on um, some footage I saw on YouTube, and in all honesty. The truth is I don't think the footage that I saw was actually filmed on this camera because it was much more of a 360 rather than a 180 um, footage maybe the guy used two of them I don't know quality seems meh. well look Woo! it works you know it works that's what I'm gonna say about it the um, smartphone app um, seems to work really well. The Wi-Fi works well. Um, I haven't actually seen the raw quality of the footage um, off the camera yet because uh, I haven't taken the memory card out. So all my playback's been on the smartphone app. So that you know it might look a little bit better. But the first thing that I noticed is that <clears throat> it's. I was expecting a kind of uh, a deeper field of view. car park yeah you are just precariously balanced on the um, on the dashboard here so expect some movement during the filming um, well so anyway this is my like real first test so what we've just done is gone from a fairly low light situation into a highlight situation I did kind of notice yesterday I was uh, playing around with it at my parents house and it really seemed to be struggling in uh, bright light so we'll just see what this looks like when I get to take it out of the machine and have a look at it so just to talk a little bit more about it, this is just about the cheapest, I think, 180, 360 camera that you can buy. Um, you know, you're going to get what you pay for. It's not super high resolution. But, you know, my first reactions are that it does what it says on the tin. And, and most impressively, you know, what's really, I think, is quite amazing is that the smartphone app is actually able to process that kind of fisheye data that the camera is producing and turn it into a VR shot in real time and it's not very laggy so you know top marks top marks for that definitely it's a it's a it's a really nice little piece of software the Wi-Fi connection seems very easy and good no stress with that um, yeah all in all it's and what did this cost I bought this off Aliexpress including delivery it's 41 pound and ironically for Aliexpress where delivery is normally really slow this was really really good so I believe it's made by a company called Suku they have a couple of other interesting cameras that we'd like to have a look at but uh, this one really appealed to us because of that 180 360 capability and uh, if you don't already know I'm the creator of an underwater jetpack and we'd like to see if there's some kind of way hello that we can um, that we can use this with the jetpack so it's not a waterproof camera so the first thing we've got to do is uh, make a waterproof housing for it looks like it's going to be a pretty easy thing to do uh, we're quite good at being able to make things waterproof so I think we're going to make a little kind of um, outer shell for it which we're going to fill with silicon and uh, hopefully that'll enable us to take this thing underwater because what we really want to do is uh, stick this on our backs when we're using the jetpack and kind of get that full that full 360 view I wanted it to be slightly more than 180 uh, um, you know, I know some of the more expensive ones definitely have got better, better, way, better lenses on them, which uh, give you more of a, you know, slightly more than 180. But hey, look, it was 41 pounds. It works. You know, it does what it says on the tin. It's got an app that works. So for a cheap thing from China, you know, it's ticking all the right boxes. Um, interestingly, we spoke to the manufacturer. Oh, hello, camera. And. Uh, these guys on AliExpress are selling this thing for pretty much almost the, 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 the wholesale price. There you go, I'm going to put you back up over there, slightly facing forward. You might still, you might still just about see my head. Um, the question is, what would it be worth in the UK? It's interesting, you know, I think just about the cheapest 360 camera you can buy, you know, there's what, the Fly360, there's the... Kodak one 
you know, they're both in the hundreds of pounds. I mean, they're higher resolution. They've got a slightly wider field of view in that kind of uh, in that in that orientation. But they they cost you know more than four times as much. So, what would this retail at in the UK? I don't know. My gut's kind of telling me that it's going to be maybe an eighty quid type thing. It's got some novelty value to it. Um, you know, it is what it is. But hey, look, this is the first real test of. Of what does it really do so I'm, I'm testing the audio now I'm talking to you I'm in a car you know we're moving we're <coughs> we've got changing light patterns I don't even know if you might just be able to see the top of my head who knows but anyway it's a test I don't even know if the fucking thing's recording to be honest with you I should probably have a little look if I accelerate here hopefully I can I can accelerate you towards me don't slide away oh! Oh, he's over there now. Come back, you little fucker. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, this is like, um, I've never done one of these before. You know, your YouTube hunter review. This could be the making of millions for me. The beginning of Simi's special scientific surveys. Anyway, let's just hope that you are actually recording. Now you're getting a nice big chunk of uh, car pillar in your, in your view. But um, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I wanna get the footage off this. There's a bit of PC software that works with it. I don't know whether that does the translation into something that Google will accept, but um, you know, I know it's definitely possible to somehow get this as a VR image onto Google. That's my mission. Can I make a VR video on Google? Woohoo! We'll see. Anyway, the manufacturer seems really nice. Seems really nice. Been talking to them. They're looking for a distributor. So I know some people at Firebox. If this is any good, and I'm kind of happy with it, then it kind of does what it does for the money. Maybe I can do some kind of deal with Firebox. That would be cool. Traffic lights. My opportunity to get you. Yeah, you're recording. Woohoo! As I've just seen, actually, as a result of buying this one. The app that they use, the developer of the app's done a 720 one, and there is a new cam camera coming out from a different manufacturer that's actually got two of these babies stuck on top of each other. So, oh, look, I don't know if you can see, but there's Chris. Yeah, can you get me some diet energy drink? Cheers. <laughs> so there we go. 360 camera test. Got a little four gig SD card in there, so it's gonna be interesting to see what size the files are. I can't imagine they're very big because the res is pretty low. Here we go, here we go, here we go, a go, go. I haven't tried the Android app, by the way. I've only tried the, whoop, the iPhone app. Uh, and it's very good. So, anyway, there we go. Nice little drive around Portsmouth. And we're at the car park. And the next time you see me, we're going to be in the office. <laughs>